Hello guys, so welcome back to our next uh, tutorial. So I'm going to uh, teach you how to use this CPP Droid application to create a C++ program. And if if you don't have this app, you can go to Play Store then just search cpp droid okay it's cpp droid for c and c++ ide then you can download that one and install so to start how to make program with this cpp droid okay first you're going to create a new project so tap these three dots in the right upper corner of your screen then click project then new okay, if you want to open your file you can click open okay then you type your file name of your project example my first program then create C++ project then you can start now uh, writing your code okay so first when you write a a program in C++ you must first write in this in this upper corner is the libraries okay, the libraries that we are going to use is the IO stream so that is the standard uh, it contains the standard command for input and output commands no? okay so first huwag natin kalimutan ng hashtag okay hashtag then followed by include keyword okay then dapat naka ang IO stream we will put inside the uh, greater than and less than symbol okay so sa mga ipipira na ra so io ay yung kalimutan yung io stream io stream then close okay then if napakay laing libraries so you can include it here for example if you want uh, mathematical for example you have mathematical uh, functions nga gamiton so can use include math.h so meron pa marami pang libraries so ito muna yung gagamitin natin so next so we will specify our namespace so instead of uh, we will declare a using namespace here using so this is a keyword that using so you cannot use that one as a variable using then we will use the standard namespace okay first namespace name space std or the standard so every statement to end that statement dapat lagyan natin ng semicolon at the end of the statement okay except yung sa library then so if wala na tayong ibang namespace na i-declare so we will make the main function so we'll create the main function so this main function ito po yung hahanapin ni compiler when you run your computer pag wala kang main function so walang tatakbo kasi hindi niya makikita yung main so to write a function first you must uh, specify the uh, you must specify first the data type of your of your function okay so ano ba yung mga data type diba mayroong integer double car 
no since our main function wala tayong uh, ilalabas na value so we can use void data type void then name of our function which is main okay then followed by open and close parenthesis yan so may function na tayo then in the next line so we will add some blocks okay blocks kung kung asa magsugod ang imuhang program asa po siya mag end so to add some blocks so we will use the open and close brace okay sa itong brace yan o bracket no bracket I mean so ang but pasabot aning doha ka bracket the first bracket is the beginning and the last bracket is the end okay so so hindi tayo naglalagay ng semicolon dito sa main kasi hindi pa tapos ang statement so until here sa last uh, brack, br brace no okay so so dito po natin ilalagay ang body sa ating program between these two blocks no okay wag di pwede maglagay ng code outside from that blocks because you can cause some errors okay so shall we say we will create a program that will add number 5 and 3 okay so since since uh, it involves numbers so we will create a variable so we, here in C++ so you can declare a variable dito sa taas so dapat a variable must be declared before it will be used so before you use the variable you must declare so in this section so must save if you will declare all your variables after this begin okay so for example uh, we will declare a variable example since 5 and 3 is a number or an, a whole number so we can declare it one as integer okay for example uh, n1 so this is a valid declaration because a variable must start with a letter and or number no pero di siya pwede mag start with number or wala siyang space okay then to end that statement so we can add semicolon okay and we will add another variable into so valid ya po na okay okay so then uh, since our program is to add two numbers so we will make a variable or, or a container for the sum of the two number okay so I will add another variable here so ang pangalan si sum okay so si sum it's not a keyword so it's safe to use okay so in this program we have three variables okay so our variable is n1 n2 so n1 lagyan natin ng value so to assign value to a variable you must use the operator equal equal for example this 5 then si n2 will assign 3 so we will use the operator equal operator then 3 okay then we will use or we will compute the sum of n1 and n2 so we can assign it here so, sum is equal to n1 plus n2 okay so we have now the sum of n1 and n2 then the next we will uh, output or display that that sum 
no? ipa-display na to ang value sa sum. Okay, in order to display the value of sum, so we will use the C out. So the C out is the C out statement is used to display the value or the the string inside the double quotes, okay? So we will type C out then double less than Okay, then we will add some label. Okay, double quote. Okay, the sum of n1 and n2. Okay, so so dapat i-display na to ang value ni n1 at n2. So since n1 and an n2 is a variable, so we don't put inside the double quotes because kung ato as yung ibutang so ang magawas in one ug in two so ato ang mga display ang value nila so pag display sa value atong button is we will end it here then we will add another two then we will output the in one yan so para ang value ng in1 ang ma-display hindi ang word na in in1 kung ibutan do siya sa sulod sa the word code okay then di pa tapos ang statement so di sa nato i-end so another so dapat ang output is the sum of n1 and so meron pang and so ang and is a string so dapat ilagay natin sa the word code and then The next is lagyan natin ng space para di magdikit. Okay. Then we will display the value of n2. So we will add some double less than again. Then the value of n2, yan. So the sum The sum of n1 and n2, okay, is equal. So my number pang is equal. Okay, so that is a string equal. So ilalagay na natin sa double quote again. Space, my space is equal to okay, jat lang taman. And na to siya. Then the value of sum if I display naman na to ang value of sum. Okay, so yah natin si sum dito. Okay, so if sa tong pangalan sa variable, so dapat mo pa na tong i utang niya. Pag capital si sum, dapat capital. Okay, kay case sensitive ka ayon ng C++. Okay? So, end na nato. So, para mag-move ang cursor sa next line. So, we will include in L. Okay? So, last name. End L. End L. This will send our cursor to the next line. Then, semicolon for L. End with statement. So meaning, ang C out dito lang, dito lang siya taman. Okay. So tapos da. So this program will add five and three to five five and three and display to the screen. Okay. Turan hit this lightning symbol here. Our our display button here. Main must return end. Ah, so kailangan talaga ng ng return. Okay, so dapat do may return eh. So depende kasi sa compiler. So we will make it int. So kailangan do may return. Then lagyan natin ng return dito sa baba. No, so return is a statement that will return values at ng function. So zero lang, walang return. Okay, then semicolon. Okay, try natin ng run. 
Okay, ito pala ang lightning symbol ang is dito para execute. Yes. Okay, run. So So, kita nyo ang output, the sum of 5 and 3 is equal to 8. Okay? So, for example, we will uh, output the sum of uh, 5 and uh, 15 and 16. Okay, we will just change this one, then save. Okay, to save, click this uh, lighting symbol. Or to compile before you run, you will you you must compile first, then hit this play button to run. Okay, so we have na tayong output. The sum of 15 and 16 is equal to 31. Okay, so we'll change again. So as we say, we will uh, compute the sum of 115 and 6. Okay, compile. Yes, click the lighting button, then to run, click the play button. So, ito na ang output, the sum of 15 and 6 is equal to 121. Okay, so, ganyan lang kadali magawa ng program using CPP Droid. Okay, I hope you uh, catch up guys. So, I hope... Uh, you are going to create your first program using this app. Okay, thank you for watching.